Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love and General Reading. This is for the element of fire. Um, so if you are Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of June 20th through, I'm sorry, June 18th through the 20th, 2021. Um, so I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are generals, so they may or may not resonate. Uh, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, it is a separate process. So make sure that you're registered at Bill Per Call, and then you can request a call back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the Venus sign readings. I do those monthly, as well as additional content that you may enjoy. And uh, be sure to check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Emperor. We've got the Will, the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles, the World, the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Mm. Okay, so something's going on where I feel like um, you are kind of waiting for an opportunity or an opportunity has been presented to you, but now you're trying to figure out what to do next. It's like, okay, now that this is been revealed to you or now that you have an offer on a table um what's your next move what are you going to do um i feel like you guys are also thinking about establishing a or starting a business if you haven't already done so um but you're you're focusing on yourself and your independence but I feel like it's more so financially. It could be relationship-wise, too, where you're like, look, I'm just focusing on me. But I kind of feel like you're business-minded. I feel like you're strategizing uh, something about your career. Um, so I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for you. Maybe someone wants to work with you. Someone might come towards you, and they're like, hey, you know, I had this idea. I want to work on a project together. Um, I think you're going to tell that person that you want to think about it or you want to figure things out on your own, but it does look like you're trying to figure things out or you're analyzing. Um, you might feel like you're more independent instead of, or better being independent than working with others because it does look like there is a clash uh, of egos when you are working together with other people. So maybe it is better for you to work alone or to s remain independent. Um, you also might feel very passionate about something. Seems like you're going to feel very creative. Now, for whatever reason, this stone is making me think of, of, um, what do you call it? Well, Loki, specifically, um, and the Avengers. So I'm thinking about something in regards to the Avengers. I don't know if you're watching the Avengers this weekend or if you are a fan of uh, the spinoff shows that are coming on. It just seems like something is like an infinity stone. Um, so I, I don't know. It seems like maybe you guys are looking at the Avengers or somebody is or someone is a fan of that. I feel like you're also trying to manifest something. You might be trying to research on how to manifest. Or maybe you have manifested something, but you're like, okay, now that this is uh, materialized, what do I do with it? What am I going to do next? Romantically, I feel like you're being watched. Um, I feel like someone is waiting for the right opportunity to come towards you, but this person is very uh, slow paced there. They may be an earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And so, um, yeah, they're moving at a very slow pace. They're very disciplined and this person doesn't do or say things unless they're ready to. So, you know, there's nothing that you can say or do to force this person to move any faster. 
Um, now, somebody may be at a distance from you or some sort of traveling may be required. You may travel for a living or maybe that's your next career move, something in regards to traveling. Um, or your new job, if you're looking for a new job, something might require you to relocate or maybe it's just like a, a very big commute. I feel like it's more so something that's very far away. I don't think it's more like a, you know, we're talking about some sort of 40 minute drive. I feel like something's like way, way far. So it would be better for you to just relocate. Mm, there's a need for you to also kind of complete any projects that you keep saying that you're going to do or that you procrastinate on and you haven't done it yet. So I feel like this is a good time for you to um, to finish where you left off. And it does look like you'll be completing any type of, of work projects that you've been meaning to complete. Mm. Something looks too like you are starting over somewhere in your life. It could be that a relationship had to fall apart to be rebuilt um, or you're just now reestablishing your business or career in general. I feel like your money is growing, but it's very slow. You also might need to research if you're thinking about investing, don't do it until you understand what you're investing into. You also might get several people trying to tell you what to invest into and you like, no, I don't agree with that. So I feel like there's some sort of clash when it comes to opinions about what you should invest your money into. Mm, also something is like competitive energy. Hmm. I see someone is also trying to get your attention. Someone may be trying to annoy you or push your buttons in such a way so that you'll reach out to them or respond to them. Because I feel like somebody gets impatient. They're like, okay, I've been waiting to hear from you. I've been waiting for this, that, and the other. And let me just go ahead and do this. It may be this to get your attention. So I feel like someone's gonna grow impatient and do something annoying. You also might be the one that does this. Mm. If you're in a relationship, I'm getting that there's some sort of sexual tension or frustration. Maybe someone just keeps working all the time and keeps trying to plan a date and it's like, no, let's just do it. Like, stop planning, stop overanalyzing. So there is some sort of frustration and blockages when it comes to your relationships if you're in one. Hmm. I feel like you guys are frustrated by the weekend or before the weekend is out. Something's going to frustrate you. Now, it also could be that your spirit guides want you to move forward with something and you're procrastinating. So they're gonna try and make your situation uncomfortable until you take some sort of action towards what you want um, or to, you know, go in a different direction. So your spirit guides are trying to uh, frustrate you so they, to get that fire burning in you. Where it's like, where's that passion? Let's get that passion going. They need some fire under their ass. So I kind of feel like something's happening so that to get you to get up and start doing something and being uh, proactive. I feel like you're fighting it though. Like maybe you are aware of something that you need to be doing, but you're not doing it. So spirit is like, okay, let's, let's do this. Um, now, this is for the weekend, but something also may be happening uh, or may not start until Leo season. So I don't know if you have like some sort of vacation that you're planning or if you were planning to move. Like It's like you already had that on the agenda, but it's not happening until Leo season. But maybe that's where your focus is going to be on Leo season for whatever reason. I feel like it's going to be significant. Um, hmm. If a relationship is just starting, this person comes off like 
a dictator. Um, they're very dominating alpha male type. And I feel like they want something serious. They're, they're wanting commitment, but something seems forced. I don't know why they're trying to force commitment onto you unless you're the one doing this. But so, I feel like somebody's trying to force commitment. Hmm. Maybe it's one of those situations too where somebody is in a military and it's like they're tired of having long distance relationships. So they're like, look, at least you can come on a base with me if we get married. So we need to get married. So I feel like maybe someone's trying to um, like rush you to the altar or, you know, rush you into some sort of commitment. You also may be getting borderline harassed. Like if someone is wanting to recruit you for something and they're like, look, you're very talented. Like, you know, think about it. They're like telling you to think about it, but they're like emailing you like every 10 minutes. So, <laughs> well, maybe not that often, but you know, it's like, okay, he said, think about it, but they're like really pushing. They're like, this is a, this is a big opportunity. Like we're presenting this big opportunity for you. He's holding it. same thing. It's like, you know, we can establish an empire, uh, empire. We, we need to get this started, you know. So, you know, we're just waiting on you, but think about it. And then they're like really trying to get you to accept some sort of offer or to, you know, accept the offer that's being presented to you. Mm. Hmm. For some of you, something feels like the last days of work, like your career is coming to an end at this particular business or place. Not, it's not a bad thing. Like I feel like you're gonna have, it's either because you're moving on to another career or starting your own business. If the company is folding, I feel like you're gonna be compensated for it, but then you got time to figure out what you wanna do next. Some of you also might be financially comfortable, but you're rushing like to find something else. You're like, that's fine that, you know, that I got compensated for the next year, but I want something now. Like you're, you might feel frustrated because you're wanting to do something now, or you want to make sure that your security is never threatened. Mm. And then this is a fire reading. So you guys, I do feel like your patience is going to be tested. I feel like somebody wants you to see something or someone wants you to notice them. I feel like somebody wants you to respond to them or acknowledge them, but maybe you aren't doing that or this is the other way around. And this person keeps checking to see if you saw what they said or posted. So I feel like this is an internet thing. I do feel like someone wants you to know that you're missed or that they are having a hard time moving on from you um, or you might be doing this. Mm, it seems like you had to let go of an earth sign because nothing, it, it wasn't going anywhere. Um, but this person is still lurking. I feel like you're at the same time having a hard time letting go too. Like every time you leave or walk away, you get seized. I don't know, something freezes you. You're like, well, I can't, what am I doing? Hmm. I mean, I do feel like that's in your head. I don't feel like anything is actually stopping you from moving on. I feel like if you needed closure, you're gonna have some sort of closure. It doesn't just have to be a romantic situation, but I feel like you're gonna have your closure.
you might receive some sort of invitation to something. It's either to school or like a like a partnership, a business partnership. Something has the name Rose in it or something about Rose is significant or maybe, yeah, maybe that's someone's logo. Okay, so I'm just, I'm hearing something about space-time continuum. I don't know about, you know, metaphysical stuff to break it down in those type of terms, but I kind of feel like maybe that's something about what you're realizing. Oh, matter of fact, now see, that did just trigger a dream that I had. This girl just randomly said, um, time is frequency. And I was like, Ah, I was like, how do I, how do I manifest though? How do I get my manifestations? And then when I woke up, I did look it up. And that's like a real term that time is frequency. Time is measured by the waves of frequency or something like that. And um, I was still thinking about manifestation. So I was just like, how do you speed up the frequency? That was like my next question. Like, how do you speed up frequency then? So I don't know, maybe you guys are like, it does kind of look like uh, something as a Stargate or a portal. Looks like you're dreaming about something and you're going through it or as you're sleeping, some, you have access to another realm or another world. I feel like a portal's getting ready to open up. Did I mention something about Leo season? Because I feel like yeah, this may have something to do with um, Lionsgate. I know it was significant last year. I think it's every year. Um, but I do know that Lionsgate has something to do with um, a portal opening up and receiving some sort of light codes. So maybe you're needing to do some sort of research on that. Something is also saying that it's time for you to let go and move on from something that you're holding on to. You might be stuck and can't seem like you can let go or move from something. Like, does seem like you're patiently waiting. Hmm. It may be time for you to let go of an idea or some sort of belief that you have. Now it also could be some sort of belief or idea that's been holding you back. Like you're like, I can't, it's not meant for me to do this or it's not meant for me to do that. So it's time, it may be a, a need for you to say, hey, stop saying it's not meant for you to do this or that. Like, yes, yes you can. Like think outside the box. So it could be that. So it could be either way though. It, it could be either that you're holding on to some sort of belief that you can't do something or you keep thinking that something's going to happen when it's not. So it depends on your situation. I feel like someone is thinking of you. Someone does not want you to move on. So yeah, that's, that's something I'm just getting. In a love situation, someone doesn't want you to leave. And I feel like they're still holding on to you. And it's almost like you can feel that energy pulling you back. And this isn't going to be for everybody. But I do feel that someone wants a commitment. They just are moving like molasses. Again, that is not going to be for everybody. Somebody's going to be rushing you to complete something. And I just got that image of people rushing me to finish their readings. If it ain't into the next day for my time, please don't rush me with the readings. <laughs> please don't do that. Um, but yeah, 
I feel like something's going on where somebody's trying to rush you to complete something and you're like, wait, like I need, I need time. I need to finish this. This see, this is why I need my own business because I don't need people rushing. You know, so something's going on where I feel like somebody's like, no, I, I need to take my time. I need to see all the details. I don't want to be rushed into it. Now, see, I'm getting again where somebody is like trying to rush you into a commitment or you are trying to do that. You might feel like somebody's trying to tell you that you're ready and you feel like you're not. Mm. That can be in any situation, but I'm getting like career or a love situation. Somebody might also be trying to rush because they feel like last time they took too long and they're like, I shouldn't, I should have just went with the flow or I should have just, you know, did that, this, that, and the other and I waited too long and I missed an opportunity and I don't want to do that again. So I feel like somebody might be trying to make up for some sort of past mistake. Yeah, I got a lot of work on your mind. I feel like you're really trying to figure something out. There's some sort of restructuring going on at your job or if you have your own business, there's something that you're doing. You're like, okay, I need to restructure. Maybe you're rebuilding a website or something of that sort. Financially, I see you guys' credit improving a lot. Your credit's getting good. Your credit's in the like 700s and rising. And maybe, you know, maybe that's a big deal if you were in the 400s or 300s. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm in the 700s. Um, romantically, someone is planning a proposal. All right, let's pull some energy cards. Ooh, my shirt acting up on this reading. Who doing that? Who is meant somebody using uh, telekinesis? This is the second time this happened. I had to restart the video over. I was like, oh my God, all right. Additional messages for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay, we have strategy, which you are doing. The thinking woman, man holding a coin, yin yang as the overall energy. All right, so I feel like you guys are in alignment with a love interest, your soulmate, um, or you're in alignment with your career path. It just seems like things are 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 feeling um, equal or balanced and I feel like you are also now that things are aligned or imbalanced and I just noticed that I'm seeing 22 and 47 but um, because things are aligned now I feel like now is the time to strategize so it's like now that you have some sort of opportunity because this also looks like a coin or a wheel too. So I feel like now that you guys have some sort of opportunity, it is a need for you to strategize. Like, what are you going to do next? Um, maybe you just received some sort of money. Maybe someone just put it out there that they want a relationship or marriage. And you're just like, okay, well, what to do next? I feel like you're looking for direction here. Um, I would say too, 
that maybe something has been documented in a dream journal. Um, it looks like something is trying to give you guidance here with this little compass here. So uh, make sure that you do check your dream journal. Now, if this is something else, maybe you, you need to have confirmation or proof of something. It does look like you have receipts for something. So you have it. I don't know if you were worried about where a receipt was, but I feel like it's, it's documented. It's, I was getting ready to say it's written. So that also kind of is in alignment with your soulmate. And something being written in the stars or something is meant for you uh, you found the yin to your yang your soulmate your equal uh, divine masculine and feminine coming together um, and then she's thinking so again talking about strategy so maybe there is a need for you to figure some things out maybe you're needing to look at things from a logical standpoint now that something's been confirmed emotionally it's like okay now what to do logically or uh, practically even so something's being confirmed for you um, yeah someone's putting it out there there's an offer being made to you maybe it's a job offer but definitely could be a love offer someone does give you butterflies I feel too like you're going to discover something about some sort of past life connection that you have with this person and it all makes sense. It's going to give you some sort of direction or it's going to give you a clue as to what your your future your future is together or what your purpose is together. And I feel like a love interest is waiting to hear from you or they're waiting to see what your response is going to be after you know they they put something out there, out there or give something to you. Um, it's a lot of thinking going on. I feel like somebody is questioning whether something is true or something is real or if this is really happening. Is this an illusion? Like... If I go through this gate, then what universe? What's going to happen? Like, am I making a mistake? Is this what I'm supposed to do? So I feel like there's some sort of hesitation before you make some sort of final decision. But it's saying, follow your heart. So fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Maybe this person appears to you now metaphysically. I don't know, too, if you've been seeing some sort of an orb um that orb could be the energy of this person like your spirit husband or wife uh has been looming around and this is someone's gift like someone has a gift they're able to do this they're showing you something and they're showing you their heart the best way they know how um you also might feel some sort of heart palpitations or something's going on where you can you feel the connection or it's going to confirm something for you so i do feel like something's been confirmed emotionally but then you're trying to make a logical decision but at the end of the day it's like now you know you need to follow your heart here we're showing you this is a clue that was given to you now follow it yeah, so hopefully, you know, something has resonated, but feel free to leave your feedback. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.